Hello everybody, this is Danny from Deep South Homestead, back out with our peppers again. As you've seen uh, the other day, we put the calcium nitrate, uh, liquid nitrogen, and then we put the wood chips because we knew the wood chips would draw a lot of the nitrogen out of the soil, so we kind of overloaded it with nitrogen just a little bit. We want something to retain the moisture, which is working out really well, and the peppers are just blowing and going now. I mean, this has been just two days. Look at the difference two days can make. I mean, guys, there's there's peppers everywhere. I mean, you look, the banana peppers are just, it's not just one plant. I mean, it's every plant. If I look, there's banana peppers hanging on these things everywhere. And we've already harvested probably 15 gallons off of here. And we do go through occasionally like this. We'll see a bad leaf like that. We go ahead and get it. We just take it off. Get it out of there. I just wanted to get in another, and I'm going to get another right here. And we see the banana peppers are just constantly producing like crazy. If you look at the new peppers on these things, two days, guys, just two days. And we come down here, and I was worried about the bells. I said, now that's probably where I'm going to have a problem. Look at this. Now, I don't even know if you can see it on the camera. If I can move it around, whether you can just see all the peppers in two days these things have just kicked out that nitrogen and those those chips holding some moisture in look here's this branch right here look at this that over here all those peppers this is just one plant and you move over here at these other plants you see the peppers there the peppers here all the new little peppers going on there we just keep coming down, and I'm like, well, is it just those? And then I got to looking. Look at these other plants here. There's just peppers in here everywhere. They're on the ends of all these limbs. Blooms out here. More peppers. We just keep coming down, and look at this. Just in a couple of days. I can't believe how fast. Oh, all the new growth. Yeah, you can see the new growth in the tops here. It is, and there's blooms. Every one of the new growth, there's blooms in it, right in the top of it. So, loading up with the nitrogen and uh, the wood chips and putting as many gallons of water in these tubs as we did really makes a difference. And look at the mucho nachos, how they're coming on now, because we pruned these back pretty heavy on the leaves. And then these are the... Uh, Big Bertha's down here. No, I'm not a big fan of them, but we, we plant them just as an experiment. Um, getting our little culprit right. Ow! Can you believe that thing bit me? That's a grasshopper. He just bit me right there. Wow. That must be a particular type of grasshopper. Look at him. Vicious little creature. He's a vicious little creature. Look at the antennas. They're like this long. I mean, I got pretty tough skin, and that looked like a, it was like a fire ant bite. Right. Um, he goes to the chickens. Yeah, he's going to go for chicken feed. But uh, but look at the big Berthas. They're even loading up. Look at all the peppers on them. Guys, it was well worth it to do that experiment on the liquid nitrogen, the calcium nitrate. Now, this is one we, we pruned it really heavy. We took off most of the leaves off of it because they were diseased. And it, uh, it's got some, look at the top up here. i should show you the top. All the new growth coming on, there's blooms in every one of the new growth right here. Now, whether it'll overcome the, the uh, bacterial spot or wilted spot virus, I don't know. But we're going to see if it will. And look at this. It was well worth the experiment, guys. Yesterday, we got a really good rain for about 30 minutes here. It was a good heavy downpour. But previous to that, before we put the wood chips in, I experimented with one of the pots. I kept putting water in it to see how much water I'd have to put in this pot before it would come out the weep holes I have drilled in the bottom of it. It took five gallons of water per pot just to get these plants up to the right amount of water so that it would pour out the weep holes at the bottom. 
And that tells me that the two gallons we were putting in each pot every day was not sustainable for these plants. In the pots, in the heat like we're having, and the peppers pulling as hard as they're pulling on moisture, it's going to take five gallons of water a day for these in this type of heat now. And this is in partial shade. This is not full sun. So something to keep in mind if you go to watering your pepper plants. And there's two, there's two plants per pot, except for a few of them have three. But most of them are just two plants per pot, and they're sucking five gallons of water a day. So keep that in mind when you go to water your peppers. Thank you, guys, from Deep South Homes.